Did you guess what we're going to plant today? Peanuts, Charleston watermelon, and banana squash. Come on, let's plant. Now, these trellis pretty good last year. When we saved some seeds, we got some 26-pounders. I got some pretty high hopes. Pull that back down to bare soil. Fantastic. I know, I like to play in the dirt. <laughs> well, put three in each hill, putting the hills pretty close together, Get down a little bit and give them a little bit of cover, put some mulch on there, that soil's good and moist, even in this wind underneath this mulch. Patch of baby carrots are doing great in the wind. I gotta get a little water on them though. We're gonna have cabbages. Can you believe that? We got a bit of Swiss chard coming up on its own. This is one of the areas we had a cold frame set up. Well, I guess that means we're supposed to plant some peanuts right here. Nobody said you couldn't plant peanuts and Swiss chard together. So let's go ahead and get some of these in the ground. Put a couple rows on this side. Where we had that cold frame, I just spread out the sawdust. And look at that soil underneath here. That is wonderful. One of the reasons I like using a pitchfork, you just scrape the top and it sort of makes little furrows. And we can just drop our seeds on the ground, pat them in, and cover them back up. So I'm gonna do like roost out. I'm just gonna randomly kind of scatter them on the ground. I'm planting pretty heavy. Let me just come back. That soil is good and loose. We got good soil contact all the way around. Put a little bit of mulch back on top. And then we'll see what we get. And it really is just that fast. You can do this too. What do you say we go get some giant banana squash in the ground? I think we're gonna go do that up front where we're gonna have a big squash patch of all different kinds. Well, it is kind of taking shape. We got some butternut, some zucchini, some yellow crookneck. Right here looks like a perfect spot to start some giants. I'm just gonna clear a little space. Oh, just look at our helpers. That is wonderful. Thank you. We do have some of these started in containers up at the house just to make sure we get some. I'm going to plant a few seeds right here, see if we get any germination. But my friend Jim sent these to me. I didn't get them in last year. I'm going to try to grow them this year. He says that the squash, when they're ripe, are over three feet long. That ought to be pretty fun. I need to give Riley a treat. He's got a fan. Now, if you want to join the channel, come here. Yeah, Riley took his treat and he took off. What are you going to do? <laughs> but we do thank you for hitting the join button and buying Riley a treat. If you wanted to buy me a cup of coffee, you wouldn't hurt my feelings. You don't have to. I'm going to still be out here every day planting. You can do this too. And until next time, remember, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. I got to go find Riley. I think I found the culprit that pulled all the tomatoes out of the flat and a few other things. Well, the cat grass grew. She's a pretty good girl. Well, I found him. He come to the house to eat in private. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.